Just came across this here guy, the smuggler's tail. A bunch of everyone in the prize of Dundonald's linked to the 18th century smuggling trade. This is highly arranged by David so that the Lund's smuggling company was the most successful in Scotland. For 1765, tea, brandy, wine, rum and tobacco was spread in the Iron Man and tipped to be the growth by later in the century. Three goods were directly from Europe. But 60 small boats were kept permanently on the beach to unload the cargo. This was actually traded. The volume of worn cargo sized by the arranged officers was whoa, 200 pounds? 100, 200 pounds? At today's prices? Whoa, talk about dear enough. It's a bargain. Well, I really respect the news spread from house to house. Look at man with up to 500 horses to send to the beach. Ready to carry the combat on land as speedy as possible. One route was through Dundon Glen. Point of interest in the trail. Look at all those trails, eh? Oh, what's it? Dundon Castle. The castle is a four feet tower house built by King Robert II and was the gates of the throne of Scotland in 1371 and it was used as a royal residence by the early stunt case of the next 150 years. It's said to be Robert's second furious residence. It was here that he died in 1390. The visitor is sent to his open through the summer season. Car parking is available all year round. Don't see anything about it being haunted. Hopefully this tour and you can see see if it's haunted or not. I think I found this wee leafly here with the castle. In 1641, the Connery family was living at Arkin's house where Sir William, a strong royalist, was created Lord Don Donald by King Charles I. He was further honoured by King Charles II in 1669. They became the Earl of Dundonald. The family left Ernest in the mid 1720s. But we still have some property in the village, including Dundonald Castle. Iron sites can be reached by following path at the end of the trail. One of the most famous was at Rose 1809. Wow. Who's this dude? Thomas Coleman, 1776 1860. Had a successful career in the Royal Navy. Also, the navies of Brazil and Greece. Whoa. Must be the map there. Three flower. In the late 18th century, the winter pear tree was sold by the Embora nursing man. Lixon, a go purchased and played the Delaman estate. And Coloman, don't know what that is, but that's the whole map there. Alright, but we have to do the tour of the castle now. Let's do this and let's see how haunted that castle is and let's find out where that noise was coming from also. Let's do this. Let's do this hype gang. As we watch the sun rose over the castle grounds, 
I'm going to do a tour of this massive castle as you can see in the distance. It's called Dun Donald Castle from Scotland. I don't know much about the rumours of this castle yet, but I plan to do a tour at 3 o'clock. This woman comes to do the tour at 3 p.m. to talk about the history and the myth and legends that's been hidden inside this castle for centuries. This castle was built in the 14th century. I've been in castle ruins ever since. Just hope nobody's buried there. Because when you look at it, it looks like a grave. Does it say the castle? See those stairs up there? That's where we had to go to. Castle, look at this. Look at the state of this castle's in. Look like they're trying, the minute trying to build it up again. I want to use a tour around this castle before the tour begins. Very windy up here. Look at those views. That's fantastic there. Views are fantastic up here. I also heard at night time they said they can still hear the ghosts and the spirits that look around this castle at night time about 12 or 1 o'clock or 3 in the morning they said they can hear a ghost singing one of them said they got in the recordings so. where she could hear them I know I would love to hear them That's creepy. Yo, yo, look at that. Yo, what the... That's creepy. It's blocked off. Storage cellars. Call out there. What's happening? Oh, what's this? We regret that I said this site is restricted our staff are working to investigate the condition of high level stonework and really minus any risks of falling metal. Means this castle about to fall to pieces. Your high squad, look at the size of that. That's massive. In the tour, guys, that's where we had to walk to on top of those stairs. Alright, on top. And look how this tour starts. Start now in 10 minutes' time. With enough time. Just walk about it. I'll tell you the truth. What I heard with those other people down the road there said they hear singing or screaming 
It comes at 3 a.m. here. I wish you can get in there, guys, but hopefully in the tour we can. Hopefully. Whoa. Can I slip there or somebody push me? Oh, what the frick? Whoa, I'm too young again. I feel like I was being pushed. I feel like... Oh, it's alright. Come out there that time, I feel like some, something pushed me. That's creepy. The spirits don't want me here. And I'm scared of nothing. Is that? There's like a big chimney or something coming down from there. Oh, what's down here? A cliff edge? Well, there's a cliff edge. Yo. Is that a cage down there as well? Yo. It's going to be so cool when the tour starts. See what hidden stories is hidden inside this castle grounds. It's haunted guys because I've been hearing stories about it. And also I looked down the leaflet. A leaflet down the shop down below about this place. So somebody was hostage here. Yeah, you heard me. Hostage. Up down Dolan Castle. I'll show you that leaflet after the tour is over. But my god, I believe I read it. I'm getting chills here at the moment. I don't know how haunted this castle really is. Is it bad as everyone says this? What do you all think? Let me know in the comments section below. Tell me how haunted this castle is. Because by the looks of it, yeah, it's haunted. I'd love to go back to you know, do a nighttime one, 3 a.m. I'm into the paranormal.
I believe in them. Who else believes in ghosts? There's lovely tourists, there's lovely views here as well. Fantastic views. There was an incident half of me last night, guys. Before I came, before I came to do this tour. Out of nowhere, I'm sitting in Eden this year. And this castle and Sears was going to do today. Are they out of the ordinary? One of my doors in my room start open by themselves and close by themselves. I said, what the freak? That would be creepy. So I opened up the door, I looked around and said, no one's there. And I said, my bedroom, my bed started shaking out of nowhere. No one was in the room. It started shaking, the lights started to flicker as well. I know this has to be, don't know what that was all about, but I'm in the paranormal, so I know very well what it was. Maybe the ghost knew I was coming to this castle. Guys, how, how haunted do you think this castle is? By the looks of it, it was getting fixed up in a moment. But the, by the looks of it, I think you already know what goes on at night time, past 12 a.m. I wonder if the ghosts still walk these walls of their own castle. I'm not really sure because I love to know myself. I'm up here again. I'd like to know myself how really haunted this castle really is, seriously. The only way we know for sure, guys, how haunted this castle really is, is to do this tour that's going to go on in five minutes time. And after that, we know for sure how haunted this castle really is, because... What do you all think, yourselves? Do you think this is haunted? Terrible woman says we have to go up the top of those stairs as well. But I don't mind all oh, to think of how really haunted this castle is.
Did you hear that? What the heck is that noise? Okay, let me know in the comments below if you hear that. Uh, you're hearing this too, right? The heck is that? Oh, what is it through those doors? What the? What is that there? Did you hear that noise in there? No crow or no bird will ever make that noise. I wish there was a way in to see what that noise is coming from, but it's all blocked off by that. That's creepy. I don't know why it's making that noise. I don't know what's making that noise in there, guys, but it's creepy as hell. You just heard that too, right? I'm not, you know, not making it up. I don't know what was making that noise, but I don't think I don't think that noise is a crow. No crow does that noise. Whoever's hidden, whoever's hidden behind behind those walls of that castle. I'd love to find out myself. The only way we're going to find out what's going on inside that castle is to do this tour guide. Right. It's 3 p.m. now, so we're going down here and see. Let's start off the tour. And then, and let's see. Was hunting that castle and what is making that noise we heard? Is that a crow? Because no crow makes that noise. Okay, this here is going to be a long video, so I hope you don't mind. Instead of doing part one and part two, I'm gonna put it all together and just watch the whole thing in one in one movie. I can still hear that noise coming from that castle. I don't know where that noise is coming from. The only way I know for certain where that noise is coming from is the tour guy starting now. Guys, I don't know where that noise was coming from. It's coming from inside the castle. It doesn't sound like no crow. That's what no crow sounds like that. I don't know where that noise was coming from. If you have any idea, let me know in the comments below. This one, the third one is coming now. If anything happens, I'll turn the camera back on. But now you're going to see some blurry for this tour starts. So, see you next time.